they just we just finished or we just purchased this we're at the uh, pharmacia at the end of the road in Toto Santos into the main drag here because Dave got ate up by we think sand fleas oh, poor Dave it is March 2nd 2018 I'm gonna open the magic camper door this is where Dave and I are parked Currently, we got here yesterday after leaving Toto Santos, where we were for quite a while. And this place is called El Conejo, which means the rabbit in Spanish. We got here by means of a about a 10 mile dirt road. just pan around and give you all a good hopefully as best an idea as I can of what it's like around here here's our little we had a campfire last night which was wonderful the moon was out and it was so surreal um, just because the the light reflecting off of the the ground here is fairly light colored and it was almost as if we were on a moonscape or something it was super weird and there are absolutely no lights to be seen anywhere on the horizon there's not really any kind of signs of human activity other than there's a bit of a road dirt road that runs off to the north here this is on the pacific side so this is the pacific ocean here in front of me in this direction there is a like a little fishing I don't know you wouldn't really call it a village but guys stay there and live there the fishermen uh, here's some of the bad parts of some of these places like this in Baja you can see here there's lots of trash and litter and I would imagine that maybe some of this is due to um, the people that live here they just don't have necessarily the means always to dispose of their trash in a good way and all the plastic that is so ubiquitous now to humankind it ends up scattered everywhere so that's kind of unfortunate but you know a lot of uh, Americans or gringos stay here and so I would believe that much of this trash might be attributed to the people that come and stay and camp here which is even more unfortunate because these people have the means to travel down here and obviously come from a, a place where I feel that a lot of them could carry their stuff out, you know, and try to at least find a better place than throwing it all over the land. There are no amenities over here like pit toilets, so no one comes over to this part as far as we know, so it's, uh, I guess you could call it free camping. Dave's doing a wellness check, and I am going to go stick this sticker on this sign for the El Conejo for motorcycle sticker. Right over here on this sign. There it is. It's March 19th. Dave and I are at Ojo de Libre and we're gonna get on a boat over there hopefully and go see some living creatures of this kind. <laughs> the dolphin's right there.
Oh, she gave us a tail splash. Splash, splash! the baby, huh? She touched the boat. <laughs> oh, I almost touched her. Yeah. His tail's all the way over there. I know. Wow. And the baby. Gosh. How did it feel? Kind of squishy and cold. <laughs>
Wow, look at its fin down here. Look at Dave. Look at her size of her fin. today but that's probably our last stay point before we cross the border back to the United States. Look at cool islands out there. Big island right there. So neat around here. Kind of desolate. Anyway we may find another beach or someplace to stay tonight. We're kind of uh, stalling we're sort of stalling our crossing because we have food that we want to eat, like stuff that we don't want border patrol people to seize. We got our passports out and we're waiting in line. We're in Los Algodones at the border crossing. That's what we're doing. Dave, you got any final words upon leaving Mexico, Baja well, again? Another good trip. No complaints. Right. It's uh been a wonderful trip to Baja, second time, and hopefully they let us back into the USA up here. We made it. They let us back in the country, and now we are headed out. Um, the reason I never show like us actually going through the line is there's a certain point there start being signs saying no photography, no cameras, so you're not allowed to video for whatever reason. They, so uh, that's why I don't show it. But here's the road going out of uh, Los Algodones. There's pretty much nothing on the U.S. side. Um, just the river, Colorado River is right over there. And then there's a great big huge parking area on the U.S. side where the you can pay to park if you want to walk across or whatever. Then this road that we're on takes us out to the interstate uh, I think it's eight, and uh, that goes towards either Calif further into California, or if you go to the um, east, which is the direction we're going, you go to Yuma. So we're we're back, another trip back from Baja.